Yo, what is up, doggies? It's your boy, Beanie Kowloon, and if you've been around this channel for a while, you probably already know I'm a bit of a fan of psychedelics. And as someone who got into psychedelics like four or five years ago, nearly that whole time, I've also been involved in the psychedelic community. And while I'm a big fan of psychedelics, you know, trip and sack and shit, I am not a big fan of the psychedelic community. And quickly, I just gotta say, I don't like hate the psychedelic community or anything. There's still a lot of interesting stuff you can find on there, like, you know, trip reports and shit. You can find out people have similar, like, experiences to you. And, you know, it's always interesting to look at. But in my experience through psychedelic communities on Reddit and YouTube and stuff like that, the psychedelic community seems to face a lot of problems that I don't really see any other drug communities face. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss these problems so maybe you guys can, you know, start doing better. You know, stop doing this dumb shit, man. My first biggest issue with the psychedelic community is the psychedelic glorification. This is an issue that really separates the psychedelic community from any other drug community. I mean, I'd say the weed community is also guilty of this. As, you know, they like to just say that it's completely harmless or whatever and you can't get addicted. And, you know, there is some negative aspects to weed, but at the end of the day, it is pretty rough relatively harmless drug. But while the weed community you know, might just be saying, you know, weed's completely harmless, it's not hurting me at all, the difference about the psychedelic community is not only do many people like to preach that it's completely harmless, but they also like to preach that it's actually fucking good for you, that everyone on the planet needs to take acid. If everyone was tripping sack, we would have no more wars, no more issues, everyone would know we're all connected. When you know in reality, if everyone in the world, you know, started tripping out, it would probably lead to like 60,000 mass suicides of people who think they're fucking God doing some crazy shit. And I do understand a reason why so many people say psychedelics are actually good for you and recommend that a lot of people try it is because psychedelics can be good for you but the thing is psychedelics can also be very harmful for you psychedelics truly are a double-edged sword and while you can find people talking about psychedelics in a truthful honest manner saying about both the positives and the negatives on subreddits and YouTubes, you're much more likely to find people just completely gassing up the drug, just saying, oh, bro, nothing's wrong with it. You're about to fucking find yourself, spiritual awakening. It's going to cure your depression. Like, a lot of people really like to make it seem like psychedelics are just God's gift to Earth. And I mean, I understand, you know, psychedelics are not physically harmful. And, you know, mentally, they actually can help you a lot. But the thing is, mentally, they can also fuck you up. And I just think this is very dangerous, because while psychedelics are physically harmless and shit, mentally, that's a whole nother story, you know what I mean? It's probably not gonna make you leave the trip with, like, fucking schizophrenia or anything. But psychedelics for a lot of people could be a very scary traumatic experience that could, you know, leave them very confused for weeks or months to come. And also, we really truly don't know any of the lasting impacts that psychedelics has on your mind as it's just such a wild and wacky drug that it's hard to research and it's like low-key illegal to research because it's a Schedule 1 drug in America. And all I can say is in my experience, the, the effects psychedelics have on your mind, I mean, it doesn't seem like something that's healthy for everyone to just do. And it always just frustrates me when I see shit on psychedelic subreddits where they're saying shit like, bro, how is alcohol legal but LSD is illegal like I get it alcohol is a lot more physically dangerous than LSD you know it's addictive you know you can kill you it can kill you from the fucking withdrawals but yeah obviously alcohol is legal and LSD is illegal the difference is with alcohol you can have a couple beers and you know just chill out while one tab of acid is gonna send you to the fucking electric boogaloo dimension and I don't know it just seems really ignorant to me to act like psychedelics are just by far the least harmful drug because you know anyone who's looking into drugs trying to experiment is gonna see psychedelics and be like oh well this shit's just completely harmful harmless and looks fun as fuck, I'm about to get into this shit. While in actuality, psychedelics are probably one of the most intense drugs out there where you should really ask yourself, do you really even need to be taking these substances? And also another thing I gotta complain real quickly about the ego is all the people saying all the shit you can learn off psychedelics. I quickly gotta say, everything you can learn off psychedelics, you can learn completely sober. In my opinion, it's very harmful trying to use psychedelics to solve all your problems or figure out stuff deeper about yourself, while it can help you with stuff like that. The best way to really figure out stuff about you, yourself, and the world is when you're sober, just experiencing life. Now, I mean, psychedelics can help, you know, see it from a different perspective, but it's not something you always have to go to to find your answers. And last thing I gotta talk about psychedelic glorification is the myth that it's literally impossible to abuse or get addicted to psychedelics. While on face value, this does look pretty fucking true because, you know, you look into psychedelics and you realize each one of these psychedelics has a tolerance of like two weeks where you basically have to wait two weeks before you can trip again. And also, like, who the fuck is going to get addicted to tripping sack? You're not going to want to be tripping all day, every day of your life. But in my experience, I did have like a year of my life where I was undoubtedly abusing psychedelics. Like, it was literally every other week or sometimes every week, you know, you just double the dose, put it in some lemon tech or some shit. And I was just tripping hard sack basically every weekend. And also, it would be nearly one of the only things on my mind like I would just look forward to it all week like I was definitely abusing the fuck out of these psychedelics 
So again, what I'm saying is psychedelics are just a double-edged sword, and I really wish the community would talk a lot more about the possible negative effects than just talking about the positives. And also, when I say the community, I don't mean every single last member of the psychedelic community, because obviously you can find tons of great information in the psychedelic community, but I think the majority of the people are a bit kooky. Alright, next issue with the psychedelic community, and, and this is a fun one, and that's inflated egos. In the psychedelic community, it's very common to find people flexing about, you know, how much psychedelics they took at once, you know, how much, how often they trip, all the shit that they've learned. And a lot of people, when they start tripping so much, develop like sort of a superiority complex that, where they think that because they're tripping so often, learning all this crazy information, they just, they just know more than everyone else. And the whole situation is pretty ironic because psychedelics do actually, you know, deteriorate your ego or whatever while you're tripping. And by that I mean psychedelics do kind of disconnect you from yourself, you see things from a different perspective, you're more connected to the universe, you know, it's just, it kind of gets rid of the ego. But when the trip ends, your ego obviously returns and a lot of people will take in the knowledge that they learn from the trip and then coming out of it, people think that the knowledge that they've learned that, you know, might actually be really helpful just makes them like superior to anyone who hasn't taken psychedelics or to anyone who hasn't learned the same lesson as them. When again, you know, you can learn all this shit without tripping sack. But a lot of people just really don't understand that and think it's just whoever trips the hardest is going to be the most knowledgeable and learn the most. Like whenever I post videos on my heroic mushroom dose or whatever, I always get comments of people just saying, well, you know, I took 7 grams, or I took 8 grams, I'll never forget my 11 gram trip. Like I get I'm kind of doing the same thing, you know, sharing my story with my heroic dose, but you know, I just thought it was a story that I had to tell and you know, it's very entertaining. But like a 6.5 gram mushroom trip is really not something you should be proud of. Like it's not something you should be commenting like, I ate 8 grams, look at me. Like when I took those 6.5 grams, I was just a stupid ass 11th grader with no idea what I was going to do in life. And then after I took them, I was still just a stupid ass 11th grader with no idea what I was going to do in life. What I'm saying is, trip and sack doesn't make you fucking special, dog. It's a fucking drug. Anyone can go buy and take it. Alright, last issue I have with the psychedelic community, and you know, this is a bit of a different issue than all the other ones I've been talking about, but that is fucking scammers. I don't know why it is, but it seems scamming in the psychedelic community is like a hundred times more prevalent than any other drug community. I've yet to upload a single psychedelic video that didn't end up getting at least one comment of a dude saying, yo, click the link in my description to buy all the psychedelics you need. And when I upload psychedelic videos to TikTok, I literally get like five or six spam comments saying check the link in my description. And you know, obviously this isn't just a YouTube and TikTok problem, it's also all over Reddit. Literally on Reddit, if you ever post any kind of post in r slash DMT, one minute after posting, you're gonna get a DM from some random ass Zero Karma account saying, yo dog, I can ship you products from anywhere in the world, you know, hit up my dog's line for some of the best psychedelics you've ever seen. And I'm not really sure if this is just a problem in the psychedelic community or if this is a problem throughout all drug communities because, you know, I'm not very active in any other drug communities. But either way, this seems like a pretty serious problem the psychedelic community faces. I mean, granted, you just gotta be smart enough to know that these are obviously scams and to not get scammed. But a lot of people obviously do fall for this kind of thing as, I mean, they're still doing it and they're doing it all the time. And I mean, I'm not really too sure how you would ever really fix this issue. You just need kind of like better moderators and shit. But I mean, the reason I really just want to talk about it is just to let you guys know, don't ever trust any shady links you see. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but somehow people fall for it. If you're really in desperate need of psychedelics, just go to a fucking like college campus, find some kids playing Ultimate Frisbee and just ask them where the acid's at. They'll, they'll know. But yeah, those are my issues with the psychedelic community. And also another probably biggest issue that I have is anyone who tries to talk about stuff with like absolute certainty. Anyone who's trying to tell you, you know, they figured out the entire universe from their DMT trips and, you know, they finally figured out the meaning of life, they're wrong, man. Like, there's no one definitive answer. And that doesn't mean people can't figure out important, deep aspects to life with psychedelics. But what I'm trying to say is anyone who's trying to say that they've opened their third eye and they finally got all this shit figured out, they don't really, and what they actually have is just a huge inflated ego from all the psychedelics they took. And what I'm saying about how no one knows everything definitively about psychedelics and the universe that's also true about this video. Not everything I say in this video is just correct. These are just my opinions. But yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm basically saying is no one knows the fucking inner workings of the universe and don't trust anyone that says that they do. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. And obviously drop a fat like and subscribe. And also I should say, because I know a lot of people came from my TikTok and I know my TikTok only posts psychedelic videos. On this YouTube, I am not only going to be posting psychedelic and story time videos. I do also like making videos on like music and movies and just random shit in general. But shit, doggy, stick around because I guarantee no matter what I'm talking about, the video's going to be banging, bro. I'm not going to disappoint y'all. This is the best channel on YouTube. Don't get it mixed up. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, peace out, doggies.